Hello, today we're going to be showing you how to make a simplified Lincoln Loon heart. We've re recently did the quilted heart, this is just an alternative design and take on that one. We're actually going a little bit off tradition as well with the black Lincoln Loons for this design and the reflex fuchsia. A lovely little combination. Um, again, we we'll do this as a design, choose whatever colours you need to to suit your, your needs. So it consists of two sections of hearts. This one I've pre-made and we're going to go through the um, sections, how to build it um, step by step. It's actually a double skinned uh, design, so this will be the front part of it and then we'll create another section of this and then plugs to connect the two together. We'll then show you how to display it. So the heart very simply just consists of four chains of four linker loons. These are inflated to roughly five inches and six chains of three linker loons again to five inches. All the linker loons inflated to the same size. What we then need to do is take our chains, take each end and tie them off relatively tight so that the knot is close to the ends of each balloon. So we don't want too much stretch in there. We can hide it with the five inches we're going to use later, but it's better to have a, a bit of a tighter connection. So we just work through all of the little chains of link balloons. And that's all the chains of four done. So we've got a nice square shape. These sections are going to form the bottom three pieces. So we've got one chain of four here, one here, one here, and then to finish this one up here. The rest of the chains are all in threes. Now these will be quite tight when you tie the nozzles together, but just try and again, pull the knot as tight as you can without tearing the balloon but you should get a nice tight shape like that with a small hole in the middle. And again, just work through. We've got six of these to make. And these are gonna, these essentially make the building blocks of the, of the design. It's, the link loons are great for these modular type designs where you can build almost bricks and then the bricks just get attached together. Again, obviously I'm using six inch today. You could scale it up, use the 12 inch linker loons and size them to whatever you need to. If I was using 12 inch, I'd probably size them to around about eight inches. And when I'm measuring these, I'm actually measuring around the diameter of the linker loon. One more. So that's our six chains of three completed. We will actually have the recipe up on our decorator hub on antiscan.co.uk so you can actually see the, the recipe on paper and if you're not following this easily. The next sections that we need are 10 um, reflex fuchsia, five inch. These inflated to around about two inches. We're gonna split them to make a, a duplet so all I've done is just inflated to the two inches and my knot is tied close up to the neck of the balloon so we've got a bit of a, a gap there. All I'm going to do is use my thumb to push in, split the balloon in half and twist. If you do have one side that's smaller than the other, before you completely twist it round you can squeeze the bigger one to pass the air through, give it a twist. At this point, if you're making them in advance, you can take your nozzles, spin them round and tie them off in a knot. But because I'm putting them straight into the design, I'm just gonna leave them as they are. So to complete the, <coughs> the sections, I'm gonna take one of my sections of four, pass it through. At this point, we really don't need to twist it. The tension is gonna hold, from the latex is gonna hold it in place. So I need my first one to contain two split duplets.
So next to each other. That's going to form this section here. Then on the next two um, sections of four, we only need one split duplet per section. And when, I, when I'm putting these on, I'm going to try and put them where the nozzles are, not where the inflation um, points are. So again, just one on that one and again on this one. Just pop it into place and it's going to get twisted um, shortly when we attach everything in together. The final one we're just going to leave without any duplets in, so that can stay off to one side. And then we're not with our sections of three, just one split duplet per section. And again, I'm going to put it on the longer bit of the stretched neck just to hide it. So that's how we do that. And with all of the six um, chains of three, they're all going to be the same with just one single split duplet. What I love about these, the Reflex 5 inch, they're so soft and they're, they're a lot easier to twist like this. In particular the metallic balloons, they generally need a bit of overinflating to soften them, but the Reflex, these have just, they've not been downsized, this is straight off the machine. Okay, so we've now got our six sections of three. So we'll put those to the side. And now we can start to construct everything. So our first section of four with the two split duplets and <coughs> section of four with one is going to get twisted in to here. So what I'm going to do is take the split duplet into the join here, bring the back through to the front Just a full turn and then poke the other one round to the back. And do exactly the same. So this is our original four here with the second split duplet. That's now going to go onto this cluster of four. So now we can see the bottom of the heart starting to take shape. And we get the original. So we've now created this section here. Now we start going to add in the sections of threes. So again, we're going to do exactly the same. We're taking the three into the previous um, split duplet that we've had here. I'm just going to spin it around because it's the wrong way. Okay, having realised that these duplets are in the wrong location for here, the reason, again, why I've not tied anything in properly is if you do go wrong, which things happen, you can just easily pop it out and move it to where you need it. So we're just going to carry on with our clusters of three. So take the three and in between the split duplet, pull one in, twist to lock in place and then push one section to the back. we're working up the the reason we've got the sections of three they're actually going to you almost act as a curve it's a bit of a false curve but it's forcing the balloon shape round to curve off the top
Okay, now with our final two sections of three. And now if all's gone well, we should have two pieces ready to connect in the final section of four. And that's going to go in with a horizontal across the top and then into these two joins. And then that's the heart shape complete. Now that on its own would work nicely. You could uh, attach it onto a wall, onto a um, pole, um, dress it onto the top of a column. Like I say, we want to sort of make the design a little bit nicer. So we're going to combine the two, which is very simply using what I call plugs. So all I've got is again a fashion black um, Lincoln loon inflated to five inches, same size as these ones, and then on the end two fuchsia um, reflex inflated to about three and a half inches and all we're going to do is take the ten holes throughout the edges of the heart taking one of the ends of the reflex just simply push it in so that it leaves the, the plug hanging out and again work out the sections of threes will be a bit tight but you can still get them in. That'll actually form a, a tighter bond with the two sections of the heart and keep everything locked in place. So it just works through the heart. Plug in all the gaps. So now you have this funky little alien looking heart type shape. So I'm going to lay that down. And again, all we're going to do is take the original first side using exactly the same holes. Just pull the plugs from the last little bit through the gap. Again, your sections of three will be a little bit tight. Just you can separate them out with your hands. Just force the heart to get. And that is the two sections now locked completely together. Now, what I would do, I'd go around the edges and trim off my nozzles. And several ways you could display this. Again pop it onto the top of a lamp stand, pop it on top of a column. In this instance, I've just got a little bit of monofilament line just on a magnet. This would be great for maybe a, a restaurant or something like that, or in a bedroom. All I'm doing is just bringing the monofilament around the balloon and it's just going to hold it in place. You can tie it off a bit tighter, but once it's all in place and tied and locked, you'll get a nice sort of uh, flowing and uh, more aero design.